In this video, we will solve this trigonometry equation. Now, because these equations can become quite difficult, especially if you don't know how to start, we will use the AI tutor to help us. This is specialized AI technology that is fine-tuned to help students solve exercises and learn, and for teachers trying to figure out new exercises. You can try it out for free yourself at AITutor.io. Let's get into it. We need to find a specific angle, x, for which the sine of 2 times this angle minus the cosine of this angle is equal to 0. Now let's say that you don't have a clue of how to start this exercise. Then you can just ask the AI tutor to help you. It will respond by stating the equation, such that you know that you've put in the right equation, and it says that we need to use the double angle identity for the sine, and it asks us if we remember what it is. Let's say that you indeed remember it, and you say that the sine of 2 times x is equal to the sine of x multiplied by the cosine of x. So then you answer the AI tutor with what you found, and actually it corrects us here, because it says that we forgot this factor of 2 in front of the sine of x cosine of x. And this is indeed correct. The sine of 2x is equal to 2 times the sine of x multiplied by the cosine of x. Then it asks us to substitute this into our original equation. And if we do this, then we get the following. The sine of 2x simply becomes 2 times the sine of x multiplied by the cosine of x minus this original cosine of x, which doesn't change. And this has to be equal to zero. So this is already our first step. And at this point, you can have a go at the rest of the exercise yourself. However, if you get stuck and you want more help, you can simply ask the AI tutor by giving the equation where you are. So in this case, 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x minus the cosine of x is equal to zero. It confirms that this is indeed the equation that we have if we substitute our double rule for the sine of x. And then it asks us to factor this equation. In fact, it asks us to find the common factor in both of these terms. Now, this is not difficult because we see that in both of these terms, we have a cosine of x. And then it asks us to factor out this cosine of x. However, at this point, you might have some more questions. For instance, why do we want to factor the left-hand side of this equation? So you can just ask this question, why do we want to factor this equation? And then it answers with an explanation of why we want to factor it. Namely, factoring the left-hand side of this equation makes it from a difference of two terms, which has to be equal to zero, to a product of two factors, which has to be equal to zero. Basically, what we then get is an equation that looks as follows. A multiplied by B, which is equal to zero. Now, A and B can be anything, and still this equation is very easy to solve. Because this equation is true if A is equal to zero, because then we get zero times B, which is zero, or B is equal to zero because then we get that a multiplied by zero is also equal to zero. So basically, the problem then simplifies a lot if we factor out this equation. And that's why factoring out this cosine of x will help us solve our equation. With this valid question answered by the AI tutor, we follow its hint and just factor out the cosine. We get that the cosine of x, the angle that we're looking for, multiplied by two times the sine of x minus 1 has to be equal to 0. And if we fill this in in the AI tutor to see if we didn't make any mistakes, then it indeed says that we didn't make any mistakes and that the problem now becomes two subproblems. Namely, each part of this product, the cosine as the first part and these brackets as the second part, has to be equal to 0 in order for this equation to be true. So let me just make some space and put this equation on the top. Then we can look at the two subproblems. The first one is a very easy one. So the cosine of x has to be equal to zero. Now we know when the cosine of x is equal to zero. If we just draw the coniometric circle, then we know that the cosine of x is zero at pi over two, which is on top of the circle, and minus pi over 2. Therefore, we find that the cosine of x is 0 if x is equal to pi over 2 
plus n times pi, where n is just a whole number. So we've already found our first solution, which is also a solution of our original equation. But there are more angles for which this original equation is indeed true. And this brings us to the second subproblem, namely when this factor between brackets is equal to zero. So if we write this down in an equation, we get two times the sine of x minus one has to be equal to zero. Now we can rewrite this equation to isolate the sine of x because that's a function for which we readily know its values. Then we get that the sine of x, our angle, has to be equal to one over two. And if we look at our coniometric circle, then we know by heart, or you can look this up, that the sine of x is equal to one half when the angle itself is equal to pi over six, or on the other side here, which is five pi over six. And for each of these solutions, we can add an entire circle. So adding two pi. This means that for this subproblem, we get solutions that are the following. When x is equal to pi over six plus n times pi, and when x is equal to five pi over six plus n times pi. And this is the second set of solutions for which our original equation is true. And thus we have found all of the angles x for which the sine of two times this angle minus the cosine of this angle is equal to zero.